Cedric McMillan was an American International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness Professional Bodybuilder and a United States Army instructor. After watching Conan the Barbarian as a child, he was inspired by Arnold Schwarzenegger's physique and from there on, he wanted to become a muscle man. He started training as a bodybuilder at 13 years of age when his mom bought him a set of weights after watching him take real interest in muscular physique and also drawing comic characters with impressive muscular physique. He joined the army after high school. From here, his friend Mark Nail encouraged him to get into bodybuilding after watching him train and transform in less than a month. A month later, he convinced him to enter his first bodybuilding competition. He won the heavyweight division in 2007 in the NPC South Carolina. NPC stands for National Physique Committee, the largest amateur bodybuilding organization in the U.S. Two years later, Macmillan earned his pro card, becoming a top open division bodybuilder with over seven pro wins, becoming one of the best bodybuilders in the world. He came number one at the Orlando Show of Champions in 2011. The following year, he came first place at the 2012 New York Pro. His last victory was in 2017, Arnold Classic. He came seventh in the 2019 Mr. Olympia and sixth in the 2020 Arnold Classic in Colombia. His success was attributed to a combination of height, size, and aesthetic classic lines. Cedric was the return of the classic look that so many fans wanted to see in the men's open bodybuilding. He regards himself as a family man, a talented drawer, an amateur artist with an interest in music and culture. Well, imagine if there was a way to enjoy that delicious dentist anywhere at any time. He was also known as the one because he was regarded as the greatest bodybuilder in the world. In 2020, he was unable to compete after suffering from a series of health problems ranging from COVID-19 to heart-related problems, including a serious bicycle accident. I ain't never been fucked up before. I don't think I ever been drunk. This shit here feel good though. I got my shit done. Fucking still fucked up. But I'm ready to get back to normal. <laughs> Ain't nothing funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> he once said that he almost died from heart problems in July 2021, thereby having a near death experience. COVID-19 also left this gentle giant with a series of health problems, including breathing problems and also being unable to eat properly. He said you throw out half of the food or water he took. All day long, half the night, and uh, anytime I try to eat, even drinking water, it, it come back up, you know? Nothing want to stay down. Uh, so, four weeks ago, I went to the doctor again. I've been going to the doctor throughout, but they, they recommended that I wouldn't try to do the show because, of course, I'm being stubborn. If I eat this food and I throw up half of it, at least that's half, you know, I can keep, you know, just being an idiot, right? So, um, but yeah, man, I don't know. I've been battling back and forth with myself, not really knowing what to do next. I'm feeling like, all right, is it over? Does this mean I'm supposed to retire when I'm fucking sick all the time? On 12th April 2022, Cedric McMillan passed away at just 44 years of age from a heart attack. His cause of death has not been established yet by the time this story was released. He survived by four children and his wife, Mrs. Patty McMillan, the stepmother of his children. May his soul rest in peace. That's why um, losing him has been so tough because, you know, this is a man who was in the role of leadership for our United States Army and encouraging men and women who defend our freedom to do just that. Uh, he was a very hard worker. He went against a tremendous amount of adversity, but one of the biggest things that I, I, I can say about Cedric is that he did it his way. People would say, oh, he needs to be more conditioned or he needs to be this. He, he was like, man, I'm doing what I like, what I feel is real bodybuilding to me.